Hey guys, welcome back. Today's episode I'm pretty excited for. We're going to be making a spinach lasagna roll. Should taste really good. Very minimal ingredients, which I'm going to show you here in a few seconds. But before I do, take a second, hit that subscribe button, and let's get started here on Cook! Don't be lazy! So there's not much to it. Approximately seven ingredients here. We got some lasagna, some chopped frozen spinach, parmesan, mozzarella cheese, ricotta cheese, an egg, some marinara sauce. But the first thing we need to work with is our lasagna. Let's set one of our burners to high and preheat our oven at 350. Let's get a pot of water boiling. Once the water comes to a boil, put in your lasagna, throw some salt in it. We're gonna cook this for eight minutes. I don't care what the package says. We're not gonna cook this based on what the package says because we're still going to further cook this into the oven once we wrap everything up and put everything together. Next step, ricotta cheese. 15 ounces. Let that pop out, plop out. Yep, plop it out. Spinach, your frozen chopped spinach. Now the reason it looks like this is because this is heavy in water or liquids. So what you want to do is take a handful of it and squeeze all the liquid out of it. So that's why we got these multiple green looking poop balls. Throw about that much in there. If you feel at the end of this mixture that you need more, throw in some more. We need one egg. Parmesan cheese. About half a cup. This is the last that I have in this bag. So that's gonna do some salt to taste and some pepper. A couple of puffs. Stir this in. Make sure you break up those spinach balls so that you don't have a large cluster in a single bite when you bite into the uh, roll later on. So make sure you get a good mixture and you break up those spinach balls. All right. All right, I'm happy with the way it looks. Let me show you what we're gonna do next. I just realized it's eight minutes, so we gotta take care of the lasagna first. Get some wax paper. Let's take our lasagna out. Get some of these drippings out. Place it on your wax paper. So let's move this out of the way for now. Get yourself a casserole dish of some sort. Whatever favorite marinara sauce you want to use. We're going to put a little bit of it on the bottom. This is so that when we place our stuffed, rolled, lasagna it doesn't stick to the bottom all right let's move this out of the way grab a piece of lasagna and let's start trying to stuff this not stuff it line it All right, let me, get, let me grab a fork. Might be too much of this in here. And don't you hate when this happens? When you spill stuff everywhere? It happens. All right, so a thin, I think this is a little too thick, but. Get yourself a layer of this ricotta cheese mixture. And if. Don't make it too, too thick. So then what you're going to do is you're going to do a little roly-poly-oly on it. Roll, roll it. 
Okay. See that? So then the seam side, I'm going to put that down over here. I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm going to take some of that sauce, put some sauce over it. Okay. And then what we're going to do, let me rinse my hand off. So then the next thing we're going to do, we're going to take some of that mozzarella cheese, not the Parmesan cheese, the mozzarella cheese, and sprinkle some on top. Just like that, not too, too much. All right, I'm gonna finish loading this tray up with a bunch of those. So this is what it should look like when you're done decorating your casserole dish. Grab some aluminum foil, cover this bad boy up. Let's get it inside our preheated oven. Remember, preheated, 350. How long? Roughly 30 minutes. After that, time to plate up. Spinach lasagna roll. Wow. Simply wow. That's all I gotta say. I'll see you guys next week here on Cook. Don't be lazy.